Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm an art teacher at the Playhouse and today we're going to do lots of different activities that are fun and hopefully by the end of this program we'll have learned a lot about some art. So the first thing we're going to do is what's called messy play and in messy play it frees us up and makes us less afraid to use the materials that are given to us. So I've got lots of different materials that we can use to do this and simply it's about having fun. There are no mistakes when doing art. That's one of my favorite things to say. So if I start by using a simple hoop, I'm going to put some paint directly onto the hoop and I'm going to do some printing. And we should get some effects that look really good. Okay, so that's one example. Another example is I've got some of these doilies and these doilies can be painted on from the back and they give a lovely texture when finished. Again, this is all about having fun and experimenting with different materials. So we can use the front and back for this one. Give some nice effects. So the longer you spend doing your piece of work, the better it's going to look. Okay, so these are my two tiny doilies, but I've also got some large ones as well. So these large ones, if we use maybe a different color, let's see where that is. Again, it's about experimenting with materials and not being afraid to make mistakes. The more time you spend doing a piece, the better it's going to look. I'm doing mine quite quickly today just to give you an idea and a feel of how to do it yourself. So you can do that all the way around and you should get a nice effect like that, okay? So anything you're not using, you can reuse or just put it in the bin. All right, also things that we can pick up are little templates. And these are quite interesting because you can stick them onto your page and texture your page as you go along. So I think I'll just stick this one down. And remember, there's no mistake, so I'm gonna stick it anywhere I like. And you can decorate that any way you wish. I've got a pen and I might give them some eyes. And a big smiley face. She's happy because she's doing some art. Okay, I've also got some bottle tops and you can paint these just like this. Again, the longer you spend, the better it's going to look. But just to give you an idea, maybe I'll stick it in here. Okay. I've also got some goggly eyes, and I always like to use these because they're just a bit of fun. So again, just glue the area you're going to put them down. I'm doing it any, any old way to give you an idea of what you can do when you come to do your own messy play, okay? And as you're going along, you can think of decorating a bit more carefully the bits that you've done already. So 
So when we come to the next exercises, you'll not be afraid and you'll get stuck right in. For anybody who really doesn't like getting their hands messy, you can use a pair of gloves. But all the materials I'll be using are quite easy, washed off with some paper wipes. Okay? So I think I'll just show you how free I actually want you to be. It doesn't have to be a perfect piece of art. The messier, the better. It also means you're having lots of fun. Well, I like to think so anyway. Now these look great whenever they're displayed at the end of the program. And the kids that I've had before have all loved doing this part a lot. So why not think I'll add some brown? Now, what's also interesting is that if you get some colored card, you can also texture your page by ripping out small sections and sticking them onto your work. This will add more color and texture. Now, I also like to say, you should never really rush what you're doing because it's a bit of fun. And the longer you spend, the better it's going to look. Also, if you get some sponges, and with supervision, you can cut the sponge and do whatever size you like. This also helps give a different kind of texture. I'm using brown because I have it made, but you can use any color you want. And as you can see, our piece of art is really starting to form now. Use the whole page. The bigger the sheet, the better. I also have these lovely wooden circles. And if you don't have them, you can make your own circles, but they're quite easy to pick up in any good shop. And I'm going to stick them down using my pit stick. And again, they add an extra layer on our piece of work. So I'm sticking them anywhere I like. You might decide to draw little faces on them. You could also use the goggly eyes. To make a little face. Now, the main thing is that you're having fun. And I know I certainly am. Now, what's also lovely to add are little collage pieces. And I've cut mines up like this into small squares. And I'm going to add them directly onto where the wet patches are or where the glue is on my piece of work. Now, this is also fun if we have rollers and things to print, but you can find them things around the house or maybe in your classroom. Okay. Now, I also love using earbuds because they leave a really nice dot. And if you take your time and dip each time, you get a really lovely effect. I'm adding them onto my little gear template. Okay. Also, what's really fun is 
to get just a fork. And you can scrape the paint effect whatever way you like. Again, given the piece of work another dimension. Now you'll be taking your time doing this, but I just want to give you an idea of the things you can do. Okay, so I might do a little more sponge work and then I'm coming to the end of this little activity. Let's see, I'll just cut it. So I've got my paint. And I think I might go around here. And there we go. Don't be worried if things don't work out. It's all about experimentation and some things won't work as effectively as you thought. But that's all part of the fun. And like I say, there is no mistakes in art, okay? So, that's my first little activity done to free us up and have fun. So, my first piece of art, okay? Next. This is a piece I really like to do after I've done the messy play. And it's called printing. And what I do is give everyone a large sheet of tin foil. And on the large piece of tin foil, I do a shape or pattern. Now, you'll have lots of time to do this. I'm doing mine quite quickly just to show you what effects you can come up with and how it looks when it's finished. So I'm doing a big expressive mark. And you can be as detailed as you like. And all I'm using is simple poster paints. Doesn't need to be fancy oil paints or acrylics. I try to keep the materials as simple as possible so that they're accessible to everyone. Okay, that's my first mark. Next. So I'm going to go in the red one. Just top up here. Okay, and you can also use the other side of your paintbrush, not the normal side the back side. And I like to do simple dots like I showed you before in the messy play. Take my time. Now you can draw anything you want on this. You can draw a rainbow, flowers, your favorite pet, anything you wish. Or you can just do what I'm doing and make it up as you go along. The longer you spend on this, the better it's going to look. I say that a lot. <laughs> okay, so. Let's try some brown.
Now, the idea of this is to do some printing. And all we do simply is when we're finished our design, is we set the paper on top of it and we squash it down with our hands. And I'll get to that part when I'm finished my design. Now all you really need is the three colors, blue, red, and yellow, because you can make other colors with them. So red and yellow make orange, for example, and that's what's happening here. Now, what you can also do is draw into your design. I like to use the, the cotton buds because they're very easy to use. And you can scrape into your print. And make interesting designs. It's all about being creative. And the more time and care you spend, the better it's going to look. So simple and fun, okay? Now let's go for a print and see how it turns out. All we use is this simple paper and you can buy it in large rolls and put it up to the size you think you'll need. Place it over your print. Don't worry if you don't get it all and it's okay. And this is the fun part, okay? We get paint everywhere. Squash it down with your hands. Now it's not going to be exactly the way you drew it, but when you peel it back, it will give you a lovely print all the same. So take your time, spend a couple of minutes just pressing it all down to get your lovely design done. Now, as you can see, I rushed mine just to give you an idea of what to do, but when you're doing it, yourself, you can spend as long as you like. This is always exciting, this part, because you never really know how it's going to turn out. Some people have the tendency to rush this part because they can't wait to see, but if you take your time, you'll get a lovely print. Oh, just be careful, it doesn't tear the papers very, very fragile. And when I peel it back, are we ready? Taking our time so the page doesn't rip. Oh, it's always a little nerve wracking. And there we have it. My very quick print, but I really enjoyed doing that. And I would always advise, when you've done that one, sit it on the side to dry. And you can work directly onto your print again, but this time adding paint in other places and have fun with it. That's the main thing about art is that you're meant to enjoy what you're doing. Okay? 
you can do as many prints on this as you wish. And the more you do it, the, the more practice you get, the more professional you become. Okay. Get some red. Again, I'm gonna use my earbud and do some lovely dots. Okay. Anywhere you like. Maybe we'll just add a bit more blue. I'm just doing it anyway. Now the really nice part about this is that the print that you've done before stays on the tinfoil and parts. And I really like that because it comes through in the next print. Okay, so again, I get my piece of paper. I place it on top of my print. And I push down with my hands. Taking time to cover the whole area. Okay, and quick as you like. You have a second print all of your own. Okay, leave it on the side to dry. And the nice thing about this is that it's so easy to clean away. You just ball it up and put it in the bin. It's good to keep your area clean. So when you're coming to do the next task, it's nice and fresh and ready for you to start. Okay, thank you. That is our first activity over, our, our two activities over, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.